Okay, now we start to design the lead compensator. Let's say given in the question or assume the ZC is equal to negative 5 for lead compensator. So now we need to uh, determine the theta PC. Okay, in order to determine the theta PC, we need to draw the pole zero map from the open loop transfer function. We have uh, open loop poles 0, negative 4 and negative 6. Since we assume Zc equal to negative 5, so we add Zc here. And we also assume that Pc, the poles for the lead compensator, is a distant pole from the origin. So we need to put at this area. So now we start calculating the angle to determine the angular contribution by the compensator. So we label as, uh, you can label uh, with any numbers, uh, not necessarily theta 1 starts from here. Okay, You can also label this one as theta 1 as long as the angle calculation is correct. So for this case, I label this one as theta 1. Since this is Zc, so I label as theta Zc. This is theta 2 for from the pole negative 4 and also from the pole at origin, I label as theta 3. So we start calculate uh, connecting the line between this uh, pole and 0 to the new dominant pole or compensated dominant pole. Do not connecting this pole and 0 for angular calculation to the uncompensated dominant pole. Okay, please don't do that. You need to connect to the compensated dominant pole. So from that one, you determine theta 1, which is 5.252, divide by this part, 6 minus 2.014. We have this one, and the angle is 52.79. Then we determine theta Zc, 5 attention, 5.252, divide by this one which is 5 minus 2.014 so we have 60.38 and then we have theta 2 at tangent 5.252 divided by 4 minus 2.014 okay for theta 3 since it is at origin so it used the theta for this one since we have a uh, Theta dp here, since this is radial line for damping ratio, so theta dp is at cost damping ratio. So to determine theta on this side, so theta 3 is equal to 180 degree minus at cost damping ratio. So we have 110.98 degree. So for this one, you can label theta pc. So you need to include this theta pc and theta zc in this equation since we already add the pole and zero from the lead compensator into the system. So use this equation, the summation of theta zeros minus the summation of theta poles equal to 180 degree. So in this case, theta zc is positive. So we have the other part is theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 and also include theta pc2 in this one. So it has to be negative since this is poles. So after we settle this equation, we got theta PC equal to 7.31 degree. So back to this one. So this is the theta PC 7.31 degree. We draw a line from this unknown PC for lead compensator to the compensated dominant poles. So the compensated dominant poles, we have omega D and sigma D. So we need to determine the value of PC using this equation. So uh, uh, tangent theta PC equal to omega D nu divided by PC minus sigma d nu. Okay, using this equation, we can determine the location of PC which is 42.96 or actually it is negative 42.96. So this is our pole and zero map and also the root locus for lead compensator design with Zc negative 5 and theta, uh, sorry, PC negative 42.96. So this table summarizes the comparison of the uncompensated system and compen compensated system. Uh, this is the first design where Zc equal to 5, negative 5 and Pc equal to negative 42.96.
Okay, the next one is the compensator system, compensated system for ZC negative 4 and PC negative 20.09. And the third one is ZC negative 2 and PC negative 8.9. So for this one, we compare the um, settling time. So for this case, since uh, the dominant poles are equal for all the three compensated systems so we will have the same settling time and peak time okay and the difference is only the kv static error constant and we also have different design of zc and pc for all the uh, system okay that's it for lead compensator thank you very much